hi everyone so this is a very important video where i'm going to show you how to check the 3 volt and 5 volt circuit on laptop motherboard so basically if you understand this curves you're gonna understand anything about voltage in the motherboard you know why because 3 volt and 5 volt always voltages are the basic of voltages in every motherboard without these two voltages the motherboard cannot work properly so let's get started so as you can see here basically this is a 3 volt 5 volt circuit okay always in every circuit you will find as you can see two mosfets and as you can see here some other components for example here in order to generate 3 volt as you can see here we need two mosfets or voltage regulators so basically these two mosfets take the main voltage as you can see here we have plus v but this is basically 19 volt so this 19 volt will be applied directly to this MOSFET okay and once this MOSFET get the control signal from the, the, the 3 volt 5 volt control IC in its gate of course it will let the voltage to pass here to this side so here we have 19 volt here we will get 3 volt why how can we get 3 volt here so based on the gate or the control signal okay here also we have another mosfet basically these two mosfets work together in order to get here a, a very pure 3 volt okay so basically this voltage it adjusts the voltage in order to get a right voltage here after getting the voltage here it will be passed through this inductor in order to increase the current here we have inductor as you can see l4 so always l is for inductor and of course here we have two capacitors we have one electrolytic capacitor and another cinema capacitors those capacitors basically has as a purpose to filter the current okay so basically this capacitor has as a value 300 330 microfarad for volts and this one one microfarad 10 volts okay after that we will get here plus 3 volt this is basically the pad or the test point where you can check whether you get 3 volt or basically 3.3 volt you can check it here using the multimeter okay so here what we have here so as a laptops are becoming an essential part of our lives it is essential to know how to troubleshoot some of the common issues that may arise. okay so here for example let's assume that you didn't get hair 3 volt so if you didn't get hair 3 volt what is basically the component that you should check you should pay attention to you should always check these capacitors if for example one of these capacitors is short to the ground automatically you have a short circuit you cannot get hit here 3 volt if for example this MOSFET is short to the ground okay you can have a short circuit over here so always try to focus and to check the component that is connected to the ground like this MOSFET this capacitor this capacitor also and of course this capacitor okay basically this is a ceramic capacitor this is its reference c1062 here we have 19 volts so basically this capacitor has as a purpose to eliminate the noise in the circuit or in the signal here as you can see we have here a bolded lines this is basically bolded lines means a high voltage and over here we have control signals as you can see these thin lines means control signal for example here as you can see for gates over here we have just a control signal it could be 1 volt 1.2 volt 1.5 volt etc okay so the same working principle for 5 volt so let's see right now here 
okay understanding the 3 volt and 5 volt system or laptop motherboard this is basically a real laptop schematic okay here we have ic as you can see and over here we have the first channel here in order to generate as you can see 5 volt and we have another channel in order to generate 3 volt as you can see always we have the ic we have thermosphits as you can see over here we have the main voltage and we have here inductor two capacitors in order to filter the current and we will get here the voltage okay so here we have let's read this paragraph the 3 volt 5 volt system on a laptop motherboard refers to the voltage levels that power the circuitry on the motherboard the laptop's battery provides power to the system which is then regulated by the voltage regulators so voltage regulators basically are mosfets to ensure that the power levels are consistent and stable the 3 volt 5 volt system power critical components such as the cpu memory and other integrated circuit here we have some questions for example what is the crucial to check the 3 volt and 5 volt system how to check the 3 volt system or laptop motherboard step one preparation step two access to motherboard of course step three locate the voltage regulators okay so when we see voltage regulators mean mosfet this here we have voltage regulators okay so i will let you the link for this article in the description box in order to read it carefully okay so step four test the voltage step five repeat the process of course the same in every circuit you should first locate the circuit locate the voltage regulator the capacitors that is connected to the ground and do the same process so common issues with three volt five volt system or laptop motherboard so here we're gonna see some common issues for example overheating failure to boot and damage to component of course you can find if you have a damaged circuit so it can be due to an overheating a component that is overheated like a mosfet or ic means automatically damaged in this step or in this case you can use just your finger to check which components are overheated or if you have a thermal camera you can use it to 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 look at the exact component so an overheated component means automatically damaged component okay so here we have basically as a conclusion and we have some frequency asked question this is a very important question that we gonna discuss a little bit about 3 volt and 5 volt system so the first question what is the 3 volt and 5 volt system in the laptop motherboard the 3 volt 5 volt system or laptop motherboard refers to the voltage levels that power the circuitly on the motherboard okay what is the crucial to check 3 volt 5 volt system it is crucial to check the 3 volt 5 volt system or laptop motherboard because incorrect or unstable voltage levels can cause serious damage to the components leading to a costly repair of course what tools are needed to check 3 volt 5 volt system of course the multimeter okay to check 3 volt 5 volt system on the laptop motherboard you will need a multimeter of course okay so basically this course here is just for beginners what are the common issues with 3 volt 5 volt system common issues with it it could be as you can see overheating failure to boot and damage to components so this is just a summarize okay can i check the 3 volt 5 volt system or laptop motherboard myself of course you can if you have just a minimum uh, information and uh, knowledge okay so please guys here this is basically this article just is for intermediate and beginners and of course i make this video because many of my followers okay ask me 
to 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 teach him and uh, to explain the three volt and, f- and five volt circuit. And of course, for me, I find that this circuit is one of the most important circuits in the motherboard. Of course, we gonna we gonna study other circuits. For example, the charge circuit, the CPU circuit, chipset circuit, the RAM circuit, the clock generator circuit, the CMOS battery circuit. Okay, etc. There are, there are many circuits, but always all circuits in the motherboard has the same working principle. Always you gotta find an IC, okay? To control IC, of course you gotta find uh, voltage regulators, inductors, and capacitors to filter the current. And of course, always you will find a pad or a test point where you can check using the multimeter if you get the voltage or not. And of course, you will get the voltage. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, this is a very quick video. I, I hope that you understand a little bit. And please, for guys that not yet subscribed, you are very welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and of course, share the video. And for anyone who want to join me in the Patreon page, you are very welcome. In, the, in my Patreon page, I share in a daily basis many information, many tips and tricks, and of course, I share uh, laptop schematics. Okay, if you have, if you want a, a laptop schematic, of course, you can check my Patreon page, and of course, you will find what you're looking for. Thank you very much, and see you tomorrow with another video. Thank you very much.